All right. AWE League's 2v2 tournament. Finals set here for Division G. Got a matchup between Siege Towers and Roid Monkey. Siege Towers here in uh, uh, teal and green. We got, uh, well, let's go with Jewel here in the green. And Nephthys, Nephthys here in the teal. Jewel and Nephthys. Uh, on the other side, we've got Rasta in the yellow and Swine Wrangler here in the orange. So let's take a look at the sieves, take a look at the map. So Chinese paired with Gaharas here. Yeah, you can see the mill already on its way up. We loading that up with some juicy sheep here in no time. So yeah, Chinese Gaharas up against uh, Burgundians and Mayans. <clears throat> so we've got Archer v. Cav on both sides. Keep uh, an eye on that. We do have a lumber camp going forward toward the archer player. Obviously, Swine Wrangler doesn't know he's up against archers yet. Um, but obviously, this forward goal, forward lumber camp, that could be some, something we see threatened here in early feudal age. Over on this side, yeah, this is, a, this is a pretty nice map here, I think, for the archer player. Quite wallable with these wood lines. And maybe you get your production buildings out here. I don't know. Maybe that's a bit too forward. Maybe, maybe your production buildings here. Uh, back berries. Over here. Yeah, these berries are not in an ideal position. Especially since you need that mill. And that mill could be a target of aggression. <clears throat> Enemy archers could camp this hill. Um, yeah, so that'll be something to keep an eye on as well going forward. And then over here. Really nice wood lines along the front. Pretty open in the back, but the berries are back. Yeah, this might actually be my favorite map of the four of them so far. All right. So as I mentioned, this is Division G, so the ELOs here are usually going to range between about 1,000 to as far as high up, I think, as 1,300. 1v1 ELO. Let's see. I'll be interested to see what the meta looks like to see if at this elo the meta is pretty similar to the meta at higher elos or if it looks a bit different. So we've got deer pushing here for orange, deer pushing for green. So deer pushing apparently the meta for all elos. And still no scouting action so far for any of our players. Let's see here. Yeah, no one has gone forward toward the opposition yet. Everyone content to push, uh, push the deer. Yellow's been scouting to the north of his base. Is he missing a set of sheep? No, I don't think so. And has already started filling that gap. So I think probably will be thinking about getting production buildings out front of that gold, and could just wall to the TC here, and then maybe wall to the TC here as well, and he'll be full walled with a nice small base where he's going to have safe access to additional wood lines as well. Yeah, in terms of the matchup, yeah, I'm not sure who I strongly favor here. I mean, it really depends how Haras end up getting played here. Um, Probably slightly favored being in the Burgundian Mayan situation. But the thing is, if you're the Burgundians player, and for whatever reason you, you suffer damage in Feudal Age, and you're up to Castle Age later, you can be in a lot of trouble because then there's going to be camels on your field on the field that can target your base, and they'll have the mobility. Nothing you can do about it. Alternatively, Gahars can always go into um, the Shravamsha Rider. There's not a lot of cab on the field to worry about. All right, so we've got up times here. 22 pop for our Mayans player. 20 pop here for our Burgundians player. Uh, it looks like they fall a field behind here. We might... Oh, gosh. It's like my uh, pro subscription expired at the worst possible time here. Yes, yeah, so we do have a, a bit of idle time on the TC there for Burgundians, so he fell a bit behind. In Vil Count, uh, Teal, 20 pop, and 20 pop for Chinese as well. 
Eric's coming down to fill that gap. So yeah, I think we'll see the archery ranges out front there. And it actually looks like yellow's going to drop the production buildings on this side so that maybe they're in a more centralized location. If you wanted to be really greedy, you could even think about walling all the way out here. When you're up against scouts, probably not advisable. Go for the simpler walls. All right, teal is up. First one up. Green not far behind. Let's see if orange is able to get a pick here. He's in with the scout. He has a hill advantage. He's about to have the feudal upgrade. Now, nah, green should be able to make it away with that fill. Archery range coming down right there. And, oh, are they going for a team wall? I guess so. Yeah, dropping a range here. I think they're thinking of team walling. That is going to take some time. Scouts will certainly be on the field before that is able to go up. But if they can get it, they'll obviously have a tremendous amount of real estate to work with. There's going to be an investment. All right, second range coming down now for green. Second range coming down from yellow. So these two are on comparable positions here. First scout in production for orange. And we've already got one or two scouts queued up here for teal. So teal slightly ahead in the um, scout numbers. Not sure why he's garrisoning them at home. Would love to see... And going forward, especially given that yellow is trying to go for these extended walls, you might be able to get a build pick in a walling situation. But actually, yellow not finishing this wall here and not continuing the wall there. So I'm not sure actually what the plan is. Maybe it's not a team wall? Right, blacksmith already coming down here for orange, prioritizing the blacksmith over additional farms has gone to gold as well, so are we going to see a transition here to archers? No, that can't be. I guess I think just going to gold a little early here. Right, this eagle will be taken out by Nefty's scouts. Camel in here, trying to get a jump on a Wallingville. I think Yellow might be distracted up front. Yeah, that's the right thing to do there. Yellow can just fight this camel. And Teal gets out of there. Oh yeah, so is completing the wall here. Let's see if Yellow completes the wall there. Interesting though. So Orange is not building a team wall. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe a miscommunication there between the two teammates as to what the plans are. Alright, Teal now going to gold as well. Orange with a healthy batch of scouts here. Five scouts. They are moving out, heading for Teal's base, and they should be able to find a little bit of damage here. Uh, Teal is not walled, quite open at the moment. Alright, yeah, and Yellow coming forward with his archers as well, and a spear in the mix, so Teal could be in a lot of trouble here. Not walled with a military composition he has no way to deal with. I think he's going to need Green's archers to come forward, or they're going to have to get more damage on their end. But Green is heading forward towards Swine Wrangler. All right, yeah, I think if Yellow and Orange are aggressive here, I'm not sure why they stopped the push. There we go. They're on the move again. Yeah, they have a chance to get, I think, pretty catastrophic damage here. Uh, where's all of Teal's scouts? Teal only has two scouts at the moment. Did he just stop production after two? Wasn't keeping good enough track of that. He's going to lose a scout for free there. And the pressure is on. He's going to be pushed off of this mill, I think. Off of that wood line as well. Look here back at the reds. Actually, just about in a position to click up already. That is the power of Gahars with that sheet bonus. And I think a well-advised tower there getting that up. Uh, yellow, I think, could have been more aggressive here and probably could have denied that, but now it's going to be too late. That tower will go up, and Neftis will be able to click up. Green, meanwhile, uh, actually opting to head over to Teal's base as opposed to continuing to try to get some counter damage on the other side. Right, 
So obviously a lot of idle time here for Neftis, but uh, he's managed to click up, and if he can get, uh, I think, a second stable, get a couple Shravamsha Riders out, could easily clean up whatever archers are going to be in his base. Scouts jumping on the gold. Do these scouts have any armor? They do. As to this tower, nothing Neftis can do to defend this tower. Doesn't have a spear out. All right, here comes green to the rescue. Green's got numbers, I think, over yellow. Take a look at this. Yep, and a few skirms in the mix. Both players with fletching armor on the way for Rasta. I think Rasta's going to try to get back to the scouts, get the scouts in there to help. These scouts do have armor, so if they can get a... Might be able to get a good clean here on green. Especially if orange can get around in behind. That was the position I think Orange really wanted to get there. Excellent micro here from Jewel, though. Microing away from the archer, so not taking archer damage. Cleaning scouts. And now back in the safety of the, the PC. Alright, second stable now coming down for Teal. And Castle Age on the way. Heal here for Orange, so... Yeah, here's the question. If you are teal, you just go into camel right now and try to get some aggression on orange. Or do you go Shravamsha Rider? Let's see what he opts for here. He opts for the camels. So I think that's... No. Pardon me. That's the starting camel. Opting for Shravamsha Riders. Oh, and this is going to be nice here to clean this. we got an army coming forward from Rasta. Even though Teal's in Castle Edge, I think this might be a big mistake here for Rasta. These Shravam Riders are going to clean this entire army. Rasta has clicked up, and Rasta's going to want these to be Expo, but they are never going to make it there. Not with these fast, ganky boys on the field. Teal's just waiting for good enough numbers to go. Oh, and actually doesn't even have any armor, so waiting for that plus one armor upgrade. And maybe Rasta will get away with these scouts. Uh, pardon me, with the archers. Second TC coming down here for Teal. He's actually going heavy to stone. Interesting. So... Let's see. Yeah, that might just be for defensive purposes. I would be surprised to see a tech switch there into the uh, Gahari unique, unique unit. Alright. Rasta's got good numbers. I think if you're Rasta here, just stay. I think stay behind the walls. It's very risky being out in the open field. Green, meanwhile, heading back home, having seen that orange got up. Nice TC location. Don't have room for farm placement on this side, but you do have nice safe access to gold and wood. Shravamsha Riders are on the prowl. Okay, this is interesting. So Rasta's actually heading over toward Orange's base. I think maybe they want to go attack Green together. Let's see if that's what they opt to do. At the moment, a very even game, though. Identical Ville numbers, almost identical military numbers. So no clear favorite at the moment here. What do we have for upgrades? Thumb ring on the way, Cavalier on the way. And we're going 3 TC here for green. So green's going to go with a slightly more eco heavy approach. Expo coming in, Bosak coming in. Alright, and there's the castle. Like I said, I don't think we're going to see a tech switch here, but who knows? That'd be fun. Um, it's a nice hill. It doesn't really protect this side of the base at all. It doesn't protect much of your food eco. But it will prevent the archers from making a run in that direction. And yeah, you can see Teal completing the wall here. I think Teal also completes the wall here. Uh, he should have a nice, safe position. All right, we've got pressure on this side. Green approaching, but there are no cav in support. So this could be a nice clean here for the roid monkeys. No ballistics either. But I think if Swine is able to get, again, to get in behind green here. Roid Monkeys have the potential to get a really, really good clean. Alright, 
They're making the close. Great initial engagement there for Roid Monkeys. Yeah, these Cavaliers need to get in behind those archers. Push them toward the archers as opposed to away, but they should get the clean here regardless. No ballistics though for either player. Ballistics here would be pretty crucial in a fight like this. That goes heavily in favor of Roid Monkey. So Roid Monkey is now with a significant military edge. Let's see if they can make use of that with a counterattack. And what are we looking at? Two stable here. Alright, here come the Shravamsha Riders. These could be a big problem for Rasta though. He's got to keep him out of his base because if he doesn't, these things are going to wreak absolute havoc. He's not going to be able to deal with them with his archers. They're fast. They're a good raiding unit. Got two villas to repair. Looks like that house is holding out. Just barely. Yeah, and he's able to, to keep him out nicely done there. Uh, almost full wall. It's got this little gap over here. But it doesn't look like Teal is looking for ways in. Hasn't clicked over. I haven't seen the cab units move in that direction. We do have a counterattack here from Yellow. Yellow, though, it looks like might actually run into that castle. So that castle placement could turn out to be quite well advised. I like this Rasta immediately recognizing that this gate is a weak point in the wall. Gets houses down. Is there a hole here? A disaster. <laughs> Sorry, I just sneezed in the midst of it. I thought there might be a hole. Indeed, there is a hole. Oh, this is bad. This is terrible for Roid Monkeys. They had a military lead. I already had an eco lead, but now that military lead's about to dwindle. The eco lead is going to become even greater here for Siege Towers. And the archers, the counterattack, having to come all the way back home. A bit of a mess. Ramsha Riders raiding all throughout the eco. Cavalier here coming to the rescue. And all things considered, actually, pretty nice damage management here by Rasta. Got a lot of archers in the mix. I think really needs ballistics, though. You're going to get so much more efficient trades here with these archers if you have ballistics. All right. 20 vil lead now for Siege Towers, but still behind in the military department. Ooh, this could be a nice counterattack on this wood line. Ballistics is in as well, so there should be a lot of dead villagers here. Monk is going down. Vil's going down. Only two. Nice reaction by Swine Wrangler, though. Recognizes the threat immediately. Actually adding in some forward stables here as well. Bill's going down. <laughs> Give me one quick second. I need to pause here. I'll be right back. All right, we back. Uh, apologies. Animals. Wanted to go outside. All right, let's check back in. Eco lead continuing to bloom here for Siege Towers. Now a 30 bill lead. Another castle going forward. And that's going to be a nice one, I think. Excellent location. Green continuing to apply the pressure here to the front of Swine Wrangler's base. Swine Wrangler does have a good number of cavalier here. They do have plus two armor. Maybe start thinking about it getting a nice surround here. But one thing that's gone so well for Siege Towers, despite the fact that they've had smaller military numbers for this entire game, they have been the ones, for the most part, applying the pressure in Castle Age. Um, they've just kept this large army of Rastas running back and forth between his base and Swine Wrangler's base. And so Roid Monkeys haven't really been able to make any use of that military advantage. And I think... Their window is could start closing here. The eco lead continuing to bloom. 
castle here for for Jewel. This is gonna be a great castle if you can get it up. But whoa, okay, Rasta actually opting to go back. And here's why. It's going for this. Does have ballistics now. It should be good engagement. Let's see if they could get in. If they could get some pressure in over on this part of the base, they could potentially do a lot of damage. Alright, Jewel coming back in support. 94 military on the field for Roid Monkeys versus 66 for Siege Towers. This should be a good fight for Roid Monkeys if they've got the numbers, as long as the Cav get in a good position here. Yeah, this should be an excellent fight for Roid Monkeys. I think those Cavaliers should jump on these Archers, though. And Jewel wisely retreating back to the protection of the castle. And again, Siege Tower is doing just enough to keep the military out of their base while continuing to expand the build lead. No. At this point, not a fight. Swine Ringer wants to take not under a castle here. And Imperial Age on the way here for the Chinese player. So these are going to be Arbalists and not too long. Another castle coming down here for Jewel. Wants to protect that flank. Reinforcements being picked off here by Nefty. Oh, look at this. Rasta going forward for a hyper-aggressive castle with no military and production protection. Okay, we do have 16 archers here. Where are these vills going? Trying to deny the castle. Maybe that castle will be denied, but this is... I do not have any idea what's going on. Alright, dropping a castle there. I don't know why there. Why not here on this hill? Here you're not really threatening any of the eco, and you're going to be cut off. Your reinforcements are going to be cut off. I don't think that's the ideal location there for that castle. I think maybe Yellow was just trying to be sneaky, but didn't realize that Teal had all this in protection. Is the castle even going to go up, though? We do have Shervamsha Riders. They could get a jump on this. The Vils are not walled in. Teal's not jumping. He's letting it go up. Oh, this is nuts. This castle continues to be denied. This castle is up. Again, it doesn't, it doesn't really range anything. Man, imagine if the castle had been, like, here or here. Like, up on this hill. These units attempting to dive on the archers and on the vills. I don't know where to look. We've got Cavalier diving in on that side. Action all over the vill count is identical. Oh my goodness. Um, I think green must have lost a lot of vills on that castle. But these archers are getting cleaned up. Might not be the worst trade here for yellow, honestly. That's a lot of cav HP lost. Green wants to get another castle out here. Does have Arbalist. But look, Roid Monkey's aggression here has been the best defense for them. This um, Arbalist could have just gone through and absolutely destroyed Swine Wrangler's base. But uh, instead, Jewel has been forced to play defense here. Oh no, the Cavalier out of position. I think they need to be up here attacking the Arbalist. Right now they're attacking Stables. No! And now... Rasta's lost his archers, down to seven archers in total on the field. Cavalier probably could have gotten a clean on all these archers. Now they're just dancing back and forth, losing a lot of HP. Oh, I think that was a, a really bad minute there for Roid Monkeys. Who actually are now the ones behind in, in military numbers. Elephant on the field, yeah. And there's just nothing Rasta can do to get military units to this. So that castle just did not... Did not pan out. Alright, Imperial Age almost in for Rasta, but the problem is Rasta only has... What? 13 military, uh, 13 military on the field? Yeah, 13 Expo. So it's not going to be a lot of Arbalists, not enough to seriously threaten Nefty at this point. Over here, we've got Arbalist coming forward for Jewel. This castle should go up. Yeah, that'll go up. Yeah, nicely placed castle there for Swine Wrangler. He's going to make the jump with the Cavalier. Could be a decent fight with the Surround, but not able to get the Surround there. Running back. Yeah, the problem is there's Ballistics, Chemistry Bracer. There's a lot of damage output from these Arbalists. Alright, 
those things have settled down a bit. We've got basically identical vill numbers here for our two teams. Um, military advantage goes with siege towers. And yeah, siege coming forward for Jewel here. We're gonna start threatening this castle. I think we might see Jewel start adding in some. Does Jewel add in some halb as well? Doesn't really have a great eco to support it. Oh. I think just continue with the Arbalest numbers for now. Try to get a bit better eco behind this. And then meanwhile, on the other side, we got an eco switch actually for Rasta, our Mines player. Rasta have the food you could have support that only 27 on food. I don't know if I'd make that eco switch quite yet with that kind of food eco. I think I'd better off sticking with, um, sticking with archers. But obviously, Rasta concerned about uh, Shravamsha Riders. Because those just absolutely devour. Arbalist. Yeah, this castle's gonna go down. And Rasta. Uh, Swine Ring with me in a really tough position here. Alright, he's gonna dive with the Cavalier. Do we have Paladin upgrade on the way? We don't. Swine, Swine Ring with a Paladin here, he could take it. Excellent fight against these Arbalists. But now, not only does he not have Paladin, we've got Camels on the way. Heavy Camels, no less. The pressure's on. Actually, uh, Swine Ring could be in a really, really bad position here. That Stone Mine is going to be ranged. Does have a safe gold here. The military disadvantage is huge right now. They can just burst through here, clean out all of the food eco here for Swine Wrangler. Has a castle there, but it's not really protecting anything of value in his eco. Yeah, this is a great position, I think, for Siege Towers here. Great position. I think no need to take fights under this castle. Force the enemy to come to you. You have the hill, you have the numbers, you have the better composition. And I think just keep pushing through here. Yeah, this TC's down. And Swine Wrangler could be... Uh, Bit of a non-factor in this game pretty soon. We do have a little bit of a counter-attack here from Swine Wrangler, but that should get cleaned up pretty quickly. Camels in the food eco. This looks really, really, really bad for Roy Monkeys right now. Yeah, Elite Eagle on the way, but again, uh, Rasta. Well, Rasta is up to 48 farms. This transition, I think, is going to come a little bit too late. I do think Rasta probably needed to wait a little longer to make that transition. Swine Wrangler is basically dead at this point. Trying to get another castle here. Please don't start the- oh wait, okay, never mind, that's Jules Castle. Basically no food left here for uh, Swine Wrangler. Has two on food! You're the Cav player, not what you want to see. That castle goes down as well. And... The Vill numbers actually haven't started to reflect this damage. Meanwhile, on this side, yep, stable's being cleared out by Nephis. This castle will go up no problem. Huge military advantage now for Siege Towers. 118-42. Neither team started getting trade up so far. There's some gold back here for Swine Wrangler, but Swine Wrangler's got no access to food. Swine Wrangler's basically just out of this game entirely. So we would need some kind of incredible counterattack here from Rasta. Rasta does have significant vill lead over everyone else in this game. Has great food count now. Really could start spamming these eagles. Does he have El Dorado on the way? All right. Doesn't have the number yet, only 18 eagles. That's not enough to get the kind of clean you would want to see here. Roid Monkey's desperately trying to take a fight here. Be a good one though, they don't have the numbers. These Trebs continuing to do crazy work here. Excellent micro from Jewel with the archers moving back. Another great fight for Siege Towers. Somehow. They're not behind in bill numbers, but look at this. This house is down. Shravamsha Riders, elite Shravamsha Riders, are going to be all over the eco of Rasta. 
And that is a lot of juicy exposed eco here. I think Siege Towers are definitely going to take this game. It is. I just don't see a win condition anymore at this point for Siege Towers unless, uh, pardon me, for Broid Monkeys. Unless Siege Towers make a dreadful mistake here at some point. These Shuramsha Riders are going to start spreading throughout this eco. Over on this end, more military going down here for Rasta. More Vils going down for Swine Wrangler. That Lumber Camp will not be long for this world. How many Vils? We got, what, 56 Vils? Where are all those Vils? Some of them running forward. It's amazing that Swine Wrangler even has 56 Vils, to be honest. All right, and actually, uh, Rasta dealt with these Shuramsha Riders extremely well. Elite Eagles cleaning up. Maybe just get a stone wall here. All right, Armored Elephants coming forward here for Neftis. And I think, you know, Rasta could certainly deal with this, but the problem is he's going to have pressure on two flanks. He's going to have Trebs and Archers pushing from this side. And at the moment, where are all his Eagles massing up here? I think maybe you try to take a fight here, clean this army quickly, and then try to make a push on this side with Trebs. It does already have Trebs uh, ready to go here. I think you might want to try to jump on this army while it's caught out. It's not near any castles. This could be an easy clean with Eldorado Elite Eagles. And maybe you can make that jump before uh, Neftis is able to really start his push on this side. Ooh, look at this, though. Chakram throwers. That's a problem. That's a that's a nice call. I, that's a nice call by Neftis. You know, Swine Wrangler's out of this game. Now you got to worry about Elite Eagle, and Chakrams are going to uh, devastate Elite Eagle, at least in proper numbers. Yeah, this should be a great fight here for Rasta. Elite Eldorado Eagle jumping on Jules Arbalist here. Nice to see him get the surround here, though. Actually, I love what Jewel did here, though. Taking a smaller group of archers and drawing a lot of the eagles away. Actually able to keep this mass alive for a while longer. Keep the trebs alive for a while longer. We do have trade here. Trade is going uh, perhaps a little too far forward. Like, those markets would have been better placed here further back. Um, but shouldn't be a problem at this point. Siege Towers has such dominant map control. Shouldn't come into play here. All right, the Eagles do indeed, do indeed get the clean there. More Shavram Riders breaking in on this side of the eco. Here come the Shrock and Throwers. This, <laughs> are they elite? Let's see. Not elite. We find them. These boys are going to do work against the Eagles. Ooh. Now, what's our Eagle count? 51 Eagles. But look, uh, I mean, the great military Rasta has. Rasta's got the best eco in the game. But hasn't been able to get any damage on the other side, so... Just continues to buy time for Siege Towers to push further and further ahead. And to make the kind of transitions they need to to win this game. Um, what is going on here with Swine Wrangler? Mining gold. I don't think Swine Wrangler even has a TC at this point. Right, here comes the counterattack. Elite Eagles trying to get right into Jewel's base. Are they going to raid the Eco or are they going to opt to raid the trade cards? Actually, sending some of them back. But what's the transition to deal with the Shrock and Throwers? We don't have very many ranges left. You can't go Arbalist at this point unless you build some more ranges. These, elite, these eagles should clean these arbalists. Well, the rest of, took the fight before all the eagles were there, so maybe not as efficient of a fight as it could have been. And Jewel very nicely bringing the eagles back under the cover of the castle to get additional damage. The eagles are raiding the trade line. 
But look, uh, Roy Monkeys don't even have trade up at this point. Oh, losing a few trade cards, not the biggest deal. And let's see if Siege Towers can put this game away. Eagles making a jump on the Shrock and Throwers. Elite shock from throwers. Messy, messy game. I still don't see a way for Siege Towers to lose this, though. But would like to see more military up at the front here for Siege Towers. I'm kind of surprised they haven't been able to apply more pressure to Roid Monkeys here. Rasta's defense has been really good, and I think the best defense he's had has been getting a few units back to raid because that has forced siege towers to deal with that and they've committed a lot of military to dealing with that. Yeah, I think I think probably worth making that elite shock and throw upgrade as well here for FDs. Given the situation of the game right now. But yeah, that treb out all alone. That should be clean. Two castles started for Jewel that Jewel hasn't been able to finish yet. A few more eagles coming in here to raid. And ooh, look at this. We've got uh, a little bit of food eco here for... Her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at this TC. This is hilarious. I think... I think Swine Wrangler is just getting this up for the purpose of garrisoning it to try to kill trade cards. Which is... Hilarious. Oh man, I hope that works. That'd be amazing. Right, a good fight here for Rasta, taking another great fight. It's like the the difference in military and build count with one player basically being out of the game is surprisingly marginal. Alright, well that TC won't be long for this world. Jewel notices immediately has a treb out to clean it up. And yeah, the game continues. Rasta holding out for what feels like forever. And I'm not sure where, where is all of Jewel's military. All right here they are, planning, preparing to make the push here. But I think just get your two armies together. Get the Arbalists together with the shotgun throwers. Get three, four trebs out, and you should have no problem. Pushing right through Rasta's base, but here come the Eagles yet again. Rasta, I think, doing the best possible thing here, which is buying time. Um, but it would be nice to use that time to get your teammate back into this game, but Swine Wrangler still doesn't have a town center. He's got some hilarious shenanigans going on down here, but. Um, I mean, given how much time Rasta has bought, Swine Wrangler honestly could have potentially reboom by this point. That was probably a mistake not rebooming. I think Swine Ring was probably thinking that you know, the game was over. Eagles are back in the eco. The Shrock from Throwers are going to be chasing them all around. Excellent trade here going though for Siege Towers. Still, though, no push at all on their opponent's base. Yeah, the stone walls, though, are coming in to try to keep these eagles out. Like, yeah, maybe get a gate there. Yeah, and they're, they're looking to just entirely trap Rasta in here. Um. Rasta living off. This is probably the last of the gold, and that's the thing. Once that gold's gone, there's no more eagles to be made. So this game might end not with a uh, military conquest, but with just slow suffocation. And these are elite now. Look at these eagles evaporating here. I can't believe that there's only a 9-ville lead for Siege Towers. 
when Roid Monkey has 20 villagers, hasn't had a TC. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I think Rasta's raids have done a surprisingly good job of keeping the vill numbers low here for, uh, for Siege Towers. Alright, now we do have a push here. The gold is gone, the villas are running, Eagle's coming to clean the Arbalist. Yeah, I think if you just had the the Arbalist with the, the Chakram Throwers, with the Shravamsha Riders, this is an easy, unstoppable push here. I think it is a little bit of a mistake right now for Jewel and Nefties to be fighting on two different fronts. Eagle's getting a clean on those Arbalists. Push is being prepared here. The cap trams coming forward, but those will evaporate. But we need siege. We need siege for siege towers. <laughs> Green is just walling orange in here. That's hilarious. All right, yeah, this castle will go down though. These two cap rams are going to make a jump on it. Over on this side. Yeah, this should be an excellent fight for Nefties. Elite shock of uh, Chakram Throwers with Elite Shravamsha Riders. This should be an excellent, excellent fight. Aphrams are gone. The Arbalists are almost gone. Pulling back the Chakram Throwers, though. I'm not sure why. Siege Towers, uh, yeah, maybe just thinking that Roid Monkeys are in a better economic position than they are, perhaps? N uh, Nefties has been very reluctant to push forward here. All right, look at this. We do have some Light Cav for Swine Ranger getting in on the trade, and that might draw a reaction. Oh, goodness, down to 18 bills. These archers got into what remained of Swine Wrangler's economy. fight here for Nefties. Manages to get the Shravamsha Riders on the Arbalist, the Shotgun Throwers on the Eagles. And yeah, they can just follow this up with some Siege. Alright, here we go. They have pushed past the front lines. The Shravamsha Riders are in the Eco. And there's just no gold. There's no gold. There's nothing. Rasta can do at this point in the game. Rasta's gold count, yeah. 200... 18k food! Oh my gosh! Oh. Food is not the issue. Alright, Jewel has trebs. Did those trebs just travel all the way across the map and through that gate? I think they did. Alright, the siege has at long last arrived. And I think it is just a matter of time before we see the GG in this game. Barracks coming down all over the place where Rasta wants to get Eagle, but it's not going to be able to afford it. Oh no, this Treb sitting out of the TC. But TC should go down quickly, regardless. I mean, with elite shock controllers, you can just go right through the TCs with the shock controllers. Alright, this is probably the last stand here for. Rasta diving with Elite Eagle, but up against Elite Shotgun Thrower. These Eagles should evaporate. Indeed they do. Rasta desperately selling gold. Plenty of food to do that with. This one is looking very over. The Vill count quickly disappearing. 100 Vills left for Roid Monkeys versus 180. 200 military versus 25. And yeah, Rasta may be gathering for just a final fight here, and then we could undoubtedly see the GG. Sorin for Nephthys as well. Coming in with Light Cav on the other side as well. 
And Rasta pushed to the absolute limits of the eco here. 80 vills versus 177. 40 military versus 210. Rasta just living on market abuse at this point, but he's smothered. This game is completely and entirely over at this point. Oh, Capture Rage stuttering a little bit here. Apologies for that. Whoa. Alright, Rasta trying to dive here on the shotgun throwers, looking to get the surround. Can he get the clean here? Has more reinforcements coming in as well. I don't even know how Rasta was able to produce these kind of numbers without any access to gold. No matter. Shotgun thrower is dominating here. Alright. 68 eco left. 10 military. There it is. There's the GG. Well played game here by both teams. Roid Monkeys somehow holding on for an eternity in that game. Uh, but there it is. Uh, can't believe my pro subscription expired. Alas. Alright. Game number one goes to Siege Towers. So that was Arabia. So we will now go to Roid Monkeys' choice of map. And let me see here. So we had a ban on Arena and Nomad. Siege Towers picking Land Madness and Step. And Roid Monkeys picking Hideout and Mega Random. So presumably we'll be going to one of uh, Hideout or Mega Random here. Uh, I mean, this is what kept Rasta in that game for so long, was just having a, a better eco behind it. Okay. Mega Random. Let's go. Uh, okay, so this Mega Random gen looks a lot like Nomad, but you start with a TC. So we've got, um, instead of Jewel, we've got Elenir playing here in the gray. As the Ethiopians teamed up once again with uh, Nefti here. In the teal as the Lithuanians up against Rasta as the Aztec, Swine Wrangler as the Khmer. So yeah, what's the fish look like? Fish situation looks pretty comparable to Nomad. Less stone than Nomad, I think. Yeah, and the gold piles are a bit, well, it's stone pile. Gold piles are smaller though. 800 pop in those. A lot of wood here though. Potential for really easy walls, FC play on this map. Uh, I am going to fast forward though, just through the doldrums of Dark Age, at least until we see some early action. But the start should look pretty, pretty straightforward. Two boar, looks like standard sheep start. So the opening will be comparable to an Arabia opening. Oh, that's a really unfortunate boar generation there behind the wood line. Be a bit of a pain to bring in. Right, and who's gone out for a dock at this point? So teal docking, gray docking, yellow docking, everyone docking here except for Swine Wrangler. Oops, what I miss. So, Nefti's on the way up, going 22 pop. Lost the scout. That must be what I missed. Not sure where the scout went down. And are we going to have fast castle over here from our other players? I'm not sure. So, Swine Wrangler behind on the Vill count, but that's, I think, just a product of not having fish at the moment. Yeah. 
You don't want to wait for Elenir as well here. So are we going to see some early aggression from these two? Or are they doing a 24 pop fast castle? Let's see, what's their eco look like? I know that can't be it because they don't have the eco to go fast castle. So maybe they're thinking feudal aggression. Although we don't have a barracks yet from Elenir. And we also don't have a barracks yet from Nethys. So maybe they're just going up in order to play water. We'll keep an eye on that. Rasta continuing to wall the base here. I think, yeah, probably he's going to wall here, here, and here to complete it. Wall is already complete here for Swine Wrangler. Ooh, that's a scary mining camp, though. Especially if you're up against archers, and you are against Ethiopian, so something to keep an eye on there. Feudal Age is in here for Teal. Not producing any fires, however. Dropping the barracks. Are we going to have a stable follow up? I'm not quite sure what Neftis was opting for here. Why Neftis went up at the time they did. I don't see a stable nor going to gold. So, some kind of something between Feudal Play and Fast Castle. Okay, there is the stable. Just a little bit delayed. Over on this end, Rasta hasn't quite finished the walls. He's going to walk all the way to the water's edge. I think so. Yep, yeah, and it's doing the same up here. So, should be able to get those out before the scouts come in. Rasta clicking up 33 pop. Rasta should be in excellent position. Although, yep, just not going to gold. Should be in a good position to have a good fast castle time. Over here, Swine Wrangler on the way up. Should also be able to have a castle time without any trouble over on this side our ethiopians player just needs a little bit more food and can go up does elinir have a few feudal buildings no blacksmith as well Let's see if they get that down yeah, so far though a pretty even match the fact that both Siege Tower players are on water, I think, is definitely going to be an advantage for them. But that is an advantage that um, becomes marginally less important as time goes on and the fishing becomes less efficient. And you can see here, Elenir, uh, their fish are already on... Or their fishing ships are already on shore fish. All right, Rasta full walled with a lot of real estate to work with here. Dropping a second barracks, so looking to go eagles, I think. Rasta likes their eagles, as we saw in game one. Stable coming down here for Swine Wrangler. This gold is does make me a little bit nervous, and it's the only gold within the walls here for Swine Wrangler. Ow. Still, no, no one has clicked up to Castle Age quite yet. Rasta should be the first to do so. This needs the two... Feudal Age buildings. We need a Market Blacksmith. No sign of Market Blacksmith yet. Wood count maybe a little too low for Rasta. Alright, we got pressure down here. Ooh, look at this. Nethys adding in a galley. So I think you actually hear the plays to attack one of these Palisade walls. Use the galley to make sure a vill can't repair. I guess go for the house as well. Oh no, the galley is leaving though, just as the villa arrives. So Ross is going to be able to buy some more time here. I like the galley addition for Neftis. I also like adding an additional dock. Uh, continue with the efficient fish collection here. Two fires garrison in here for Rasta. I think Rasta needs to get those over here ASAP to defend this wall. Over on this end, oh no, the archers in on the mining camp that I was worried about. Um, yeah, so if you're Swine Wrangler, you are on the way up. Get up and you can clean this with a knight or two. And then you're actually leaving the mining camp. Allowing Swine Wrangler to get back on there. But only for a moment. Yeah, Swine Wrangler is going to need to get up here and get access to this gold. Interesting. Ballista elephants? We're we gonna see ballista elephants. All right. Still, Swine Ring are the only players clicked up. Rasta just now dropping that market. I think maybe the fire production slowed the uptime. 
Langlois gets a couple scouts out. Scouts aren't going to be able to do much against archers with fletching. Needs to get some knights out. Indeed, that is what Shrine Langlois will do here. Nice clean there. The scouts did manage to get in. Where did they break through? Was there a hole? A hole here? In any case, the scouts got in. They were cleaned. I was too preoccupied over on this side to notice when and where they broke in. But that's a nice clean for Swine Wrangler. Even without any armor, able to clean up those archers. Ooh, loses that knight. My armor on the way. Um, no, pardon me, that's armor on the way for Nefties. Nefties on one stable, is that right here? Going heavy to stone as well, maybe wants to go into lightest. Which, actually, what you're up against makes a lot of sense because you're up against two melee units. Lightest could be a nice play here. Alright, here come the Eagles. Second TC coming out for Swine Wrangler. And Castleage on the way for our other three players as well. Yeah, like last game, we're going to Castle Age with a very even game, comparable vill numbers, comparable military numbers. Fire on fire action here. And it's going to come down to micro here, and that should be a good fight for Rasta. Nefties getting that fire back into the action, but a little too late here. Yeah, the clean goes to Rasta, so Nefties is going to have to get an additional fire out. Already aware of that, already has one out. Needs to protect this um, fishing. Do we have a second dock yet for Rasta? No, so these fishing ships are traveling a long way. Rasta I think, could definitely get a dock there on the corner. That'd be a good position. Right, here come the Eagles. Up against a full walled opponent. There will be a way in here. There are going to be Eagle Warriors with the plus two armor here in just a moment. Three barracks production, yeah. So, flooding those eagles forward, Ooh, almost gets in there. Nice walls by Nefties. Yeah, I think if you're these eagles, yeah, attack the houses. Those are the most vulnerable spot. Attack this house. Attack that house. Force your opponent to wall all the way across here. All right over on this end, we got a tight transition here for our Ethiopians player. Easier to do with Ethiopians, obviously, with the free upgrade. And some crossbow aggression on the front here of Swine Wrangler's base. Swine Wrangler garrisoning a few knights to try to clean those. No armor at all, though, so these Expo are going to do excellent here against our Khmer player. Getting a third TC there to secure the gold. Castle coming down here from Neftis, so never mind walling there. Get a castle. And that will secure that flank. More nice walls here for Nefties to keep uh, Rasta out of there. But now the pressure is on on this side. Eagle Warriors, who could actually jump. I think maybe you go and jump on this. Clean this first. And then counterattack on Teal's base here. Rasta again with a pretty nice eco behind this. Fire is breaking on the walls here. Walk. Yeah, and I think that is what the Eagles are in fact going to go do here. They're going to go try to clean Elenir's expo up. Really good Eagle production here. 19 of them on the field. You're going to want your friend to delete this Palisade wall though to make a little more space for those Eagles to get in there. It's right now. The door is being hold, held shut by uh, these pikes here. All right, the expo reacting. All right, there it is. The delete. The surround. Oh, and he's going to push them right into the TC. Yeah, this would be a great clean. And look at that. Knights to boot with plus one armor. Easy, easy clean here for Roid Monkeys. The Roid Monkeys, much like game one, they've got a military lead here at the start of Castle Age. Let's see if they can capitalize on that with aggression in a way that they weren't able to do in game one. Uh, 
Um, I think right now, uh, Elenir is in a very vulnerable spot here for counterattack. Yeah. Eagle Warrior. Oh, the castle coming down. Elenir knows about the vulnerability. And they get this in. Look at these walls. This is beautiful, beautiful play here by Elenir. You're up against two melee units. It's a lot easier to be aggressive like this when you can just wall the fills in. And, I mean, they obviously can still counterattack here, but you've got a lot more stuff you got to get through. you got a TC in defense here. Here you'd have to break through a market and a house. That is a heads-up castle there by Elenir. Here we go. Eagles are in. Just dive through. Dive through, spread out throughout the eco. You could devastate this entire economy. I mean, never mind. Just drop the TC. Yeah. Drop the TC. Look at these walls by Elenir. These are great, though. I really like those house walls. That's a heads-up play. The plus one at uh, attack upgrade on the way now for Spine Wrangler. Ooh, Lightus. Here we go. Do we have any relics yet? We'll have to take a look at that in a moment. Look at that. Forward castle for Spine Wrangler. Spine Wrangler going to be able to get that castle up. Yeah, engage the melee units here. Romante? Should be a good fight for Roid Monkeys. Lightus are a good unit, but the numbers heavily, heavily favoring uh, Roid Monkeys here. Oh, man, Roid Monkeys, I think, are in an awesome spot right now. The TC goes down. Bill's on the run here. Elenir, though, did a pretty good job of damage control. Managed to keep quite a few bills alive. Actually switching over here into Shotel Warriors. Uh, which will certainly do much better against the Eagles than... Um, Expo. This is a fight under Elenir's castle, so not a terrible fight here for Elenir at all. Losing the Chotel Warriors, but the Eagle numbers drastically diminished. And where are the Vils coming forward for this? There they are. Okay, so let's check in with our Build counts at the moment, 132 to 131, so about dead even. The military number's about dead even, so that counterattack actually handled, I think, about as well as Siege Towers possibly could have handled it. And Lanier lost some bills, but they're in a fine position. Because we've got a great boom going here right now for Nefties. Look at this imp on the way for Rasta. Rasta already with 37 farms. Ross can get to Elite Eagle. The problem is this composition. I, I do like this composition for Siege Towers when Elite Eagle is your main worry. Shotel Warrior is with Lightus. Already one relic in the bank here. Uh, how many relics are on this map? I see one over here. Where are all the relics? This map only gen, it is mega random, so you get some weird relic gens. Looks like only two relics generated. I think Nefty's here. Definitely needs to continue adding farms, get a good uh, food eco going for the lightest production because you are going to have a lot of eagles on the field here. Though gold could start to be an issue for Rasta here. Where can where can Rasta go for gold? Yeah, I think Rasta's gonna want to secure that position to get access to that gold. I need to get a mining camp on this gold, and this is a nice counterattack here. The eagle numbers are really low, so Rasta's gonna get the imp, but not have anything to show for it. And now the counterattack is on here. This is a deadly composition for Rasta to try to deal with. Rasta's got a monk grabbing that relic. That's a nice castle to secure that front spot. Rasta's got to get access to gold here somehow. Needs, like I said, this gold or the gold out front. Because right now Rasta has no one on gold. If you're in Imperial Age, you have a chance to go Elite Eagle, and you can't do it. So I think given the, the lack of access to gold, it might have actually been a mistake there for... Rasta to go up when they did. Probably would have been better to continue beefing that eco out a bit more. To 
clearing some more area before going up. He's light is continuing to pressure here. This house might go down. Oh, and if it does, this could be a disaster for Rasta. Rasta's got absolutely no way to deal with this military. Plus two armor on these boys, so they can tank a bit of TC fire. Rasta desperately attempting to repair here. Shotel's continuing to push on that side. Uh, Rasta's a bit pinned in here, with no access to gold. Hamming the stone, Rasta wants to get another castle, I imagine, right up in this area. And the pressure continuing here for Swine Wrangler, but Swine Wrangler not on the way up to Imp yet. So he's not going to have a way to use that castle position to push forward. But maybe think about going Rams here. Especially with these knight numbers, if you go Rams... You're not going to have the Chotel numbers clean this. Alright, the Knights are in. The Knights are in. This could be a great, great play here for Swine Wrangler. Only plus one armor at the moment. Can you get him before the walls go up? Oh, go! Get in there! Alright, he's in. Alright, Elenier should lose these archers here. Well, the Chotel Warriors are in on this side. What a messy, messy, fun game. This is a great one so far. Chotel's in on this side, and man, the eco count, despite all this messiness, is about dead even here. The house wall repair continues. Keeping those lightest out has been pretty crucial. And these knights will finally be cleaned here. Nefty slows continued with a really nice boom up to 102 bills. This is a great castle spot here. Maybe even go a little bit further forward so you can have your trebs uh, protected underneath it. I think if that castle was here, you can get your trebs out to treb down that castle under the protection of your own castle. Oh, the lightest are in. The lightest are in. Not in huge numbers, but there are on this wood line. They're going to clean that wood line out. They clean out that stone. Castle coming down here for Rasta. Maybe here would have been a little better. I mean, there's not... Yeah, you want to secure some of that food ego. That set Rasta back considerably. Rasta now down to 87 bills. Had them as high as, I think, about 100. And Castle, I mean, uh, party Imperial Age on the way here for Elenir. Elenir is going to beat Swine Ringler to Imperial Age, which means Elenir will be the first out with Trebs. It's going to be a Doubt Castle here for Swine Ringler, I think. Trebs out from Neftis. This was a nice addition by Neftis. I really like this. And yeah, that castle is deleted. And now this Treb can go forward and actually just clean all these castles here. Swine Ringler might lose this forward position. Light is still running around here being a pain. Nefty's in a really good position here. Would like to see a few more trebs added in to start the push on this side. Look at these. These vills desperately going forward for gold. There's a castle though right in their face. No ballistics though, surely. Yeah, not for the cap player. So those vills are safe. Ooh, look at this. Swine Wrangler gets these. Light cap in here. Yeah, but there's there's pikes to deal with it. Chotel's raiding around Swine Wrangler's base as well. Chotel's not good under the TC though. They are fragile, fragile units. Little Ninja Turtle looking dudes. But yeah, actually looks like Swine Wrangler hasn't noticed. Okay, no. Does notice Garrison's there. What a messy game. <laughs> yeah, the Ville count. I don't know how these two teams, they just like coordinated together. Like, okay, I had a Ville, you had a Ville. But the Ville count almost dead even. Again, though, I do like Siege Tower's position here. They've got a bit more map control. I like their composition better. Also, the fact that they should have no problem clearing this out here. Oh. I think we need some Trebs here from Neftis. Neftis has a great, great chance to push here. Don't give Rasta a chance to make the tech switch and uh, get the eco back under control. 
a lot of trebs here for Nefties. Yeah, I'll probably delete that house. That house is a bit in the way here. I mean, Siege Towers needs to be careful. They need to make sure they have military to protect those trebs. I want those trebs to get sniped by just a couple light cab. Eagles trying to make a run in. Oh no, but they're cut off by the lightest. Swarmed by the lightest. Not a good trade there for Rasta. Yeah, Rasta is starting to get this eco back on track. University coming down from Nefties, perhaps for ballistics and chemistry. Engagement up here, Shotel Warriors and Light Cav. Alright, the Shotels do get the clean, which is crucial because Elenir coming forward with a castle of their own. And this is going to range that gold. Could even be maybe a little more aggressive with this. So you could range the stone and range some of the farm ego. But nonetheless, that castle is going to establish a really nice map position here for uh, Siege Towers. Whose position I continue to like more and more here as this game progresses. But the way this map generates gold is so crucial, and so map control is so crucial. Um, this was really nice for Rasta to be able to secure that gold, though. So far, hasn't been noticed by Nefties. And I think this gold is also going to end up being pretty pretty important as this game progresses. But I think the biggest um, mistake right now, though, for Siege Towers is a bit like in Game 1, where... I think you're in an excellent position to be aggressive here against Rasta. And right now you're just giving Rasta a chance to re-establish the eco. Rasta back up to 124 vils. Rasta with the eco high, in fact. And you know, one thing with this map, because you do have this water, you do lose access to the gold, you could go trade cogs as a source of gold. It, it will take some time to tech into. And yeah, man, Swine Wrangler is now in a rough spot. Trebs in their face. This TC going down. Crucial food eco. Shotel warriors all over the place. R Rasta's, uh, pardon me, Swine Wrangler's in a lot of trouble here. It really does feel like game one. Players in very comparable positions. Look at, what? What happened here? Rasta, like game one, going for a uh, behind the back castle, but this time this one is denied. Oh, disaster. Dow Castle at 92%. Castle going up for Nefties. Oh, so bummed I missed that. Lack of attention to the minimap by me. Apologies. Um, heads up by Nefties. Getting the castle in the fence. And look at this. Another castle. This one goes up. Oh, but no matter. We've got uh, a pike transition. Which I like that for Rasta. This is what I was saying. Uh, Nefties given a chance for Rasta to make that kind of tech transition. We've got Trebs behind the stone wall on the high ground. This should be a good fight for Rasta. And denies the castle. Actually, this worked out really nice. The castle got all the way to 67%. And, uh, he's denied. I like this Treb here. Walled in between the houses. This is amazing. The castle, though, going down for Swine Wrangler. What a mess this game is. What an absolute mess. Pike's chasing here. I don't think this is good, though. They're going to be underneath two castles. Nicely done there by Nefties, garrisoning the lightest inside the castle. What a freaking mess. Yeah, Chotel's coming over here in support. I think this is a great call. Chotel's will absolutely eviscerate the Pikes. So Ross is going to need to keep a mix of Pikes and Eagles, although Eagles might not be an option because now Ross is out of gold. Lightus getting around. They're going to try to dive on the Trebs. Hotel's cleaning all those pikes. Great fight here by Siege Towers. Excellent teamwork getting their two armies together. Really nicely done. And the pressure continuing here for Siege Towers. Swine Wrangler's base in a lot of trouble right now. You have some light cav raids back in here, but there are castles in defense, so that should not be a problem for... Elenir. 
Still don't know Siege here for Siege Towers. I feel like the name's a little misleading. Uh, interesting. Adding Skirms. Which makes sense. You are up against Pikes, and Eagles aren't really going to be a threat with the lack of gold. Uh, Rasta desperately needs to get access to gold here somehow. Alright, this is so puzzling to me. Siege Towers, they have full control of the map right now. But, where did all the villagers go? Where did all the villagers go? That's what I want to know. Alright, we have four treps back here for Nefties. They tread down what, um, the unfinished castle there. Siege Towers are somehow behind by 40 villagers, despite the fact that they have been on top of their opponent's economy. So these raids here by Swine Wrangler have apparently been doing some serious work. What I don't understand is what happened to Nefty's eco. So during some of those fights, there must have been some raiding going on. This is excellent raiding here by, uh, by Swine Wrangler. I mean, this is nuts. How on earth have Roid Monkeys managed to take such a vill lead in a game where... They've been under this much pressure, and have all these castles back at home in defense. It'd be a nice push here by Rasta. This castle will certainly go down. The raids continuing here for Swine Wrangler. These raids have been so so effective, and we do have some trade on the water here for Siege Towers, but really not that much of it. And honestly, gold is drying up for absolutely everybody. Um, hopefully the players recognize this and, and realize that getting trade cogs on the water needs to be a top, top priority. And not a lot of eagles in the mix. Ooh, look at the hand cannon addition. I love that by, by Nefties. I think that's a better call than going for the Skirms. Of course, you need gold for hand cannons, and as we just noted, gold. A serious problem here. Pressure continues here. The Pike's staying alive. And over on this side, Nefty's adding in Wing Tassar, so that will raid the hell out of Swine Ringer's eco here. Pike's, though, eating a lot of Castle Fire at the moment. I think these Pikes need to stay back with the Trebs. Oh, these raids are going to be devastating right now. I think we'll see this build count even out here pretty quickly. I mean, uh... <laughs> Swine Wrangler's down to 40 bills. Game one all over again. How does this happen? We have... It's an absolute repeat of game one. Rasta with a massive eco lead. But Rasta's gonna be essentially 2v1 here in just a moment. Look at this. The Chotel's getting in on the Trebs, cleaning the Trebs. The push is stalling here for Rasta. Somehow... Swine Wrangler still has Light Cav raiding about. This can't go on much longer without any economy for Swine Wrangler. Swine Wrangler getting on the last patch of gold that remains on this map. Players need trade cards so desperately. Or else it's just going to be an interminable trash war. <laughs> Is that what we're looking at here? Is this going to be a long trash war? Oh, please no. Wing Tassar, though, when you're in a trash war and you've got Lithuanians with Wing Tassar and their speedy skirms, you like your position at Siege Towers. Alright, Rasta actually sending some pikes over here to try to clean up this Treb. They should manage to do, they're up against Shotel Warriors, but not in very large quantities. Alright, and the raids have almost, almost come to an end here. Roid Monkey still, though, with the eco lead. His Rasta is a boomer. 144 vils. But <laughs> zero gold eco. Trade cogs, please. How do you stop this, though? If you're if you're Rasta, how do you possibly stop this? With no access to gold, there's nothing you can do. The Hotel Warriors are going to be so juicy up against trash. We've got hand cannons, Shotels, and Siege with Wing Tassar. You can't stop this. 
can't stop this. As long as these units stay together and this push progresses forward, there's absolutely nothing for Roid Monkeys to do. Alright, I do like, though, this game, Swine Wrangler has attempted to reboom, added some more PCs in. And, um... Yeah, I think Swine, uh... Swine Wrangler has to get back into this game if they're gonna have any chance. But yeah, I mean, look how... Look how devastating this military is right now. And look at this. These Winkus are getting all up in this eco. Now, Rasta, plenty of bills to spare at the moment. But if they can... Yeah, break a hole in here. Just get the winged hussar into the back of this eco, behind the castles. You do some incredible damage there along the back. How do you stop this though? This is this is an unstoppable composition right now that Siege Towers has put together here. They just can't let their foot off the gas here on this pressure. With this, with this composition, this game could be over in eight minutes here. And cannon, such a nice addition. All right, what's the situation on trade? Still only a few trade cogs here for Siege Towers. No trade for Roid Monkeys. It has to be a priority for both these teams. Who's getting trade cogs out on the field? Look at that! The Wing Tassar indeed are. Running to the back of that eco. That is a lot of juicy man flesh back there. These hand cannons just dominating right now. Got some pikes there for Rasta. Might want to bring those over here to try to help clean these winged Tassar that are all over the place. Down to 115 bills now. Rasta is that castle down. This castle will be down soon as well. That relic will be available for Nephthys, not that Nephthys can field any Lightus or Heavy Cap at this point anyways. <laughs> Still, the fill count is only even. Unbelievable. Pike v. Castle on this side. Probably not as lethal as this composition. Push continues. Both castles are down. How do you stop it? How do you possibly stop it? There are a lot of pikes here. Ooh, Elinir adding in pikes. Their own as well. Ooh, one of the treads does go down. A mess here. Can't, no idea what's going on right there. I think all the traps have managed to stay alive. Still evenville numbers. Pikes almost got the castle down. Not quite. Another trap down! What's going on? White monkeys. Somehow managing to clean these traps. They're gonna get them all! What the heck just happened? So, yeah, Siege Tower is not able to continue reinforcing with additional hand cannons, additional chotels, and <laughs> inexplicably, this pike only military has pushed back against an army of chotels, hand cannons, skirmishers, and four trebs. I don't even know what just happened. It was just, I guess, a numbers difference. All that pressure, Rasta still with the Villa High. By like over 30 bills. If, if uh, Swine Wrangler can reboom into this game, maybe have a shot. I can't believe I'm saying that. This game's drunk. But this has descended into a trash war. <laughs> we don't have trade cocks. Trade cogs, please. We've got what seven trade cogs from Nephthys? 
And if Neptis can keep the trade ties going, continue to use hand cannons. Hand cannons is all you need here. Honestly, just hand cannons trap. Just spam hand cannons trap. But losing those four traps in a trash war is so brutal because it's going to take you forever to get the gold. You need to field this again. Now Rasta the aggressor with the pike only army. I'm gonna drop a town center here with pikes. What is this game? <laughs> this is hilarious. Alright, can the pikes do the job? Finish off that castle. Interesting. Skirm transitioning for Swine Wrangler. Is that for the purpose of engaging hand cannons? Maybe if you can get the skirms together with the pikes, maybe you can engage the hand cannons, but you still need siege. You need siege to deal with this. So no one has gold. Well, this game has been an hour and ten minutes so far. Has already reached the length of game one, and uh, shows every sign of continuing for quite a bit longer, given that it is a full trash war. And we've all been in this position. <laughs> These games are hard to finish. Without Siege and without high DPS units, very hard to end a game. So this will be a test of the player's endurance. Ooh, Skirms though, getting jumped on by the wing to Sar. That's not good if you are Swine Wrangler. Do have the pikes though. Pikes not noticing. Just passing. There we go. Okay, they're getting in on the action. Back to 51 vils for Swine Wrangler. And honestly, Swine Wrangler could think about recolonizing this, this territory. Get some mills, use up those farms. That is, uh... Empty and available real estate once again. Push continues, but hand cannon numbers starting to swell here a bit for Neftis, who is our only player with access to gold with a few trade cogs on the water. Roid monkeys, though, still, I still haven't even thought about incorporating trade cogs. Obviously, there is an investment to get it up and running. Could maybe sell some of this food if you're a Rasta. Like 71 farms. Look at this. Look at all the uh, Hussar coming in for Swine Wrangler. Swine Wrangler back to 37 farms. So in a game like this, that is nothing to sneeze at. Could maybe think about start starting to raid here back in the uh, more juicy parts of the eco. Although there is. There are castles absolutely everywhere. Although none of those castles have ballistics. Is that right? Yeah, none of those castles have ballistics. Will we ever see Siege again in this game? That's the question. Look at this. They're gonna try to take a castle down with the Sarin Pike. Ooh, just as I speak it, Nefty has heard me from the past. Ballistics coming in. Yeah, actually, this is what I think the play. Take the Hussar, try to surround hand cannons. Get all the get all those Hussar in on the action. In a game that is start for gold, if you can clean gold units, that is extremely valuable. This pike's raining all over the place. This castle down to a thousand HP. But uh, no mas. These units getting cleaned up. And cannons manage to stay alive in decent numbers. I am gonna be I'm gonna be late for work at this rate. I may I may have to um, cast games real a little bit later today and then uh, patch the clips together, depending on how long this game goes on. All right, look at this. This is nice by Nefty's getting back in, just checking, making sure that Swine Wrangler hasn't reestablished in that area. And Siege Tower is able to clean up again. 
This wall's coming down here for Swine Wrangler to make themselves immune to the raids. And look at this, they've added trade carts on what I have to assume is the shortest trade line imaginable. Where's the market? Yeah, market from here to here. That is going to get you how much gold? Let's look. Eight. <laughs> Eight gold. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, that's why I think you got to go the trade cogs. Because you can get a good long route corner to corner. Pikes. Pike on halb action here. Give me a dock. Give me a dock. Look at these fishing ships still working. Where are they taking fish from? All the way over here. There's gold. How has no one taken this gold? There's 1,600 gold right there. Oh, I can't believe I didn't notice that, but... Swine Ringer was going to get on that. And they could use that to get some siege. And that could completely change the trajectory of this game here. Oh my goodness, how has that gold been unmined this whole time? Alright, the Hussar are in, but that's Halb. Yeah, you can't touch that. Get out! Get out! Bail! Alright, Halb coming forward. There are some skirm here. But no siege. You just can't do anything at, the, at this moment. Siege is absolutely necessary. Siege production players at this point. Not. Interesting. Okay, a fire. Was that just at or has that been here the whole time? I think it would be worth getting back there to check to see if your opponents have them on it to trade yet. I think Swine Ringo has got to back out with these Sassar here. Let's get these skirms in a little bit better numbers. Sassar just evaporate at this point. Not even worth having them here. Just, just dive, dive the eco, dive the eco at this point. And yeah, that is what Neftis is going to try to do on the other side. But Neftis is not going to. Wait, still open here. You finish the houses. One left. There's a villain in the way. There's a villain in the way. Oh no, no. Oh no. Oh, got the house down. Clutch house. Well done, Swine Wrangler. Ah, oh, Neftis manages to get out of there too before the pikes come in. Nice play by Neftis. And the Hassar Slaughter continuing on that end. Monka caught in the open. Going for that relic. Relic been there the whole time as well, man. I am blind. Worst caster ever. Alright, the pike numbers are absurd. 45 there, another 21 over here. Should be able to break in here, though. Can't get a look at that palisade, but the palisade's gonna go down. Pike's getting in. And this tiny, tiny, precious trade eco might get wrecked here. Yeah, nothing in defense right now for Swine, Swine Wrangler apart from these pikes. He's the garrison, the TCs. I like this, though. Hassar coming in on this side. And maybe the Hussar will spot the trade cogs and remind Roid Monkeys about the value of trade cogs in a game like this. Like these Wing Hussar have been basically cleaned at this point. There's only two of them left. Oh no, they fight under the Halbs. I think you just gotta run past the Halbs there. And get down over here into um uh Teal's Eco. Still only three trade cogs. Just very surprised that Siege Towers hasn't added more trade into the mix. All right, a lot of pikes raiding here past castles. I mean, this is the spot. If you're gonna raid, get in here. This is, this is the underbelly of the eco. 
Look at that. Teal with a lot of skirms. They're going to come back and clean these pikes. Not sure where these pikes are going. What are they trying to raid here? Nice raid here with the Wing Tassar cleaning up the Lumber Camp. Map with this much wood. This can't possibly become a wood game, can it? Please, no. Sara stayed in the eco for a long time, getting a lot of picks. Siege towers with massive military advantage. 171 military on the field to 90. But there's no siege. This thing without siege it doesn't mean much. Oh, they are in here though. The Wingtus are in. That's a lot of a lot of dead bills here. We're gonna lose some trade cards. That's a great raid. Game like this. Yeah, this should be an easy clean with the hand cannons in the mix. And on that side, Elenir pushing back against Swine Wrangler's forward base. Going over here. Oh, Rasta noticing that. Very impressive map awareness. Getting the walls down just in the nick of time there. It's going to be a lot of repair work to keep that out. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I didn't realize this. So Swine Wrangler only has fletching. Not even fletching in here for Rasta. Those, the damage output for the PCs is really minimal. And the skirms that Orange was making, very minimal damage output on those as well. Alright, we got a massive military coming forward here with two trebs. Probably should never say that a composition is unbeatable because that turned out to be false earlier, but... Look at the quantity of skirms here. This is absurd. Ross desperately trying to clean the trebs. Trebs doing a little dance to stay behind the skirms. No, uh, no chemistry right now for Elenir. No ballistics either. Where are these bikes going? They're just traveling under all these castles. All right. I mean, come on. There's like 200 military on the field here. Gotta get the hand cannons up though in the mix. Keep the trips safe at all costs. It was like 30 minutes of gold collection to get two trebs out. They have to stay alive. Oh, please get the hand cannons over. Please don't let this get cleaned again. Trev's making a run for it. The hand cannons in! Looks like uh, that Gray had a bit of lag, but we're back up and running. Ooh, look at the Siege. Uh, siege Rams, which, yeah, when you're up against pure Skirm, makes a lot of sense. You can tank some of that fire. But look at that. This is nice. Wing Tassar in the mix. Skirm. Hand Cannon. Wing Tassar. Each tower has finally put together a composition that's unbeatable here. The Wing Tassar. Oh, they break in here. The It's wide open. So these guys are going to be all up in this eco. Rasta cannot possibly afford to send the military back to clean it because Rasta's trying to deal with the push up here. Those Wing Tassar should get incredible value here. Oof. Oof, and yeah, you could get him back in this eco. There's nothing to stop it back here. The hand cannons, though. The numbers of the hand cannons down to five. Man, Aztec Pikes. 
Too shabby. Alright, where's Elenir's military though? Elenir with 44 halb. Looks like most of them are hanging back over here. Oh, these Wing Tassar doing work right now. Look at all this. Look you see this. Oh, trade cogs. Let's go. Let's go. Trade cogs for roid monkeys. But, uh... It's gonna be a little too little, a little too late. Did, did the Trebs just get down? Oh, no. Oh, no. Swine Wrangler with some Hussar on the field. Cleaning both the Trebs. A nice clean and yeah the wing to sar basically down at this point oh my gosh another hold i mean look there's still an awesome military here but there's no trebs all right here we go here we go here we go three trebs coming in from elanir still got the siege ramps in the mix but the problem is all these wing to sar all these wing to sar should melt so many pikes on the field for rasta Trash Wars. Just a thing of beauty. Look at this. Oh, Swine Wrangler trying to make another dive on those Trebs. Nice job by uh, Nefties keeping them alive by navigating with the Wing Tassar. Another raid going to be coming through here with those Wing Tassar. Let's see if Roid monkeys can manage to keep those out. Swine Wrangler doing exactly the right thing, using the Hussar exclusively to kill Trebs. I'm gonna get another one here. <laughs> oh, it's so painful. <laughs> I'm gonna legit be late for work today. So this area has been walled, so the Wing Tassar not able to get in quite yet. Oh my gosh. The push was stopped by Siege Towers. A lot of Wing Tassar coming in, but what are those going to do up against Aztec Pikes? Siege Ram still kicking it with 30 HP. Siege, Siege Ram goes down. What a mess. What an absolute mess. Wing Tassar trying to take down the stable so they can get back in on this eco. What's the trade cog situation looking like? We've got two trade cogs versus one trade cog. So, yeah. The trash war will continue. With no end in sight. Yeah, do we have a potential to beat... Uh, um, what's the 95 hour game we had earlier this year? Ooh, they're in. They are in. And these pikes are raiding the eco absolutely everywhere to the point that uh, Nefdish feel, feels the need to win the hell. Siege rams are being cleaned. And we've actually got a few Shotels on the field. Oh, okay, look at that. Five trade cocks here for Gray. 600 gold in the bank for Teal. We gotta put that towards Siege. These are hand cannons. <laughs> I mean, I, in the last hour, basically neither team has made any progress. The fights have just continued on this plateau area in the middle of the map. And, oh, interesting. The Winktus are leaving. Why did they bail here? Why not run back in on this eco? Well, the thing with the trash war is, honestly, even when you lose bills, it's like... Who cares? That's just more trash I can put on my field. Nefties has actually lost a lot of eco behind this. I guess to the pike raids down to 54 vil. Oh, wow, okay. Swine Wrangler has 13 vils, so. Swine Wrangler is basically. Oh. 
That's a lot of Shotels. That's a lot of Shotels. That's a lot of gold units. That's gonna be in, and you can just... Those Shotels can just rip right through these PCs here. So I think if Neftis can just hold on this side, Neftis send a few Winged Tassar to get into the back of Ross's Eco, and then just let these Shotels just chew. Chew right through these TCs. Yeah, so those five trade cogs for Eleni are paying off in droves. Yeah, Swine Wrangler, zero, mil uh, zero military on the field, 18 bills. So Swine Wrangler reduced to their game one status of being uh, basically a complete non factor. And here come the Shotels engaging with Pikes, and that is not an engagement you want to see if you're the play with Pikes. Watch how fast this TC goes down. <laughs> oh, the Pels. This is what they live for. Three, four, five shots. Five shots on the TC. Look at this, the Pikes raiding again. The castle's down. This is nuts. Maybe you could do so much with Pikes. Alright, so Tells. Look at There's nothing Rasta can do to stop this. These Shotels can come through and they just clean all of these TCs out. Those TCs don't even have fletching. Those fragile Shotels are. Those TCs really are just going to tickle them at this point. This is a good push though here by Rasta. This is a serious push. Just not as fast of a one. I love this. I love this by Elinir. Just going for the TCs. Just go straight for the TCs. Our C trams though in the mix here. And Teal's gonna be pretty dead. Teal's down to 38 bills, 5 military. It does have these two castles though. I think you need to prioritize those with the um with the C trams. Pikes desperately trying to engage the Shotels. The Pikes have done Splendid work against basically everything in the game, but they have finally met their match here against the Chotel Warriors. Man, more Chotels here, so those five trade cogs have absolutely won the game here for Siege Towers. Are these Chotels all cleaned? Yeah, just the one, two running around. Quantity of pikes that Rasta spams here is just absurd. Alright, a little bit of a low on the action here for a moment. Let's take stock. Siege Towers, 120 bills. Roy Monkeys, 73 bills. The spam. The spam of pikes continues. Interesting. How did this. What ha happened to this relic? This relic got so close to that monastery. Relic's proving to be insanely valuable here, not just uh, because of your lift bonus, but just for gold purposes. Are up to five trade cogs here for Rasta. Could afford to make a few more here with the gold. The quantity of pikes, this is insane. Right, they're going to engage with the Shotels here. There's one eagle in the mix. He's gonna go down. And remember, these, this castle, ballistics, chemistry, bracer. The uh, siege tower castles are pretty potent here. Hobbs raiding on that side, Pike's raiding on this side. Hour, 48 minute game already, and still not clear. Who's gonna win this game? Look at this. 13 bills for Swine Wrangler, and he's back in the eco, raiding in the perfect spot here. Oh my gosh. I think this game might just end when, like, one of the teams needs to go to sleep. It does have murder holes, though. 
There are a lot of skirms. This castle down to 1100 HP, but uh, the pikes have to bail. Pikes raiding all over the place here. 30 bills for Nefties. Had any trade cog additions in the last while? No. Still five and five. Oh, Hotel's sneaking in once again. Look at this, we've actually got a few eagles being added in. One, two, three, four. A little mass of eagles there. With the gold for Rasta. A little bit of, uh... A bit, of, a bit of a lull in the action here. The players continue to build up their disgusting balls of trash. Here we go. Skirms v. Pike Eagle Mix. Oh, they're getting the surround for free? Excellent surround there for Rasta. That should be a clean, no doubt. field. Oh, please repair it, please. I beg you, it has one HP. Must repair the siege. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Halb, Skirm, Chotel. We finally get a push that, that makes it in behind enemy lines. Alright, look at this. Neftis trying to wall up here against the impending raid of Pike and Eagle. Elite. And I'm assuming we have the unique tech for Aztecs, uh, the greater uh, infantry attack. This push, this push, if it can get in here and just start trebbing down these production buildings, push back into that eco, should be the game ender. But this castle is going to go down. It's going to go down to Pike Eagle here. Not that that castle is really protecting anything, but. Chotel's coming back in. Repair it. Give me anxiety. Looking at a 1 HP. Trebuchet. Chotel's. TC's. Oh no. Breaking the trebs. That castle. Down, the push is going to continue. Again, we've got a sort of base trade situation here, but this push is doing a lot more work more quickly against a more target-rich environment. Um, FD doesn't have a lot of stuff in that area to kill anyway at this point. Frost it down to 65 bills. Continuing on that end, push continuing on this end. There's, there's a Cavalier on the field. When did uh, Nefties even do the research for the Cavalier upgrade? Sure. We get 28 Chotels. This looks like this might have been the final blow. Uh, Rasta 
Looks about finally exhausted. This military here is thinning. Oh no. Keep the treb alive. Check the treb at all costs. The Rasta's still in here, but it's basically cleaned at this point. These Hussar have been working on this castle for like 10 minutes. There's no murder holes. Elenir hasn't even bothered to clean, but um, he's going to go clean that now with, with the Halb. I think Rasta might just be finally exhausted here. Where are the units? No! No! The trip goes down. Oh no. Alright, we've got twice the eco for siege towers, almost three times the military for siege towers. Oh no, not another Treb. Alright, good, good. Treb stays alive. I'm just rooting for, for siege survival at this point in the game. Rasta's got, what, 50 vils? Where even are all these vils? Where are the 50 vils? Is it all just here on these wood lines? A few farmers back here? I mean, this should be an easy clean here for... I mean, Neftis gets those Winged Tassar up to get the Shotels up. Zero vils. Zero vils for Swine Wrangler. The GG is called! Two hours! We did it! We did it. We made it. Two hour game. Incredible. Incredible. Look at the kill counts. 1,600, 1,500, 1,400. 118 buildings. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look how valuable those relics turned out to be. One relic, 3,000 gold. 3,000 gold. Wow, that was the trash war to end all trash wars. All right. I yeah, I will have to cast game number three um, probably later tonight, maybe tomorrow. Uh, I unfortunately do need to get to work here. I'm already a wee bit late, um, but <laughs> a wild, crazy set here so far for the finals. 2-0 lead for Siege Towers over Roid Monkeys. And uh, so, yeah, it will be... Um, uh, another game to select here for Roid Monkeys, and they will be going to their home map of Hideout. All right, we are back. Game three of the Division, what is this, Division G Finals for the AOE League's 2v2 tournament. Uh, currently, Siege Towers with a 2-0 lead over Roid Monkeys in the best of five, and we go to, I believe this is Roid Monkeys' second home map, Hideout here. Uh, so for Roid Monkeys, we have Swine Wrangler here in the orange and Rasta here in the yellow. Rasta as the Britons, Swine Wrangler as the Poles. On the other side, Jewel playing as the Sicilians in the green. And Elinir will once again be stepping in uh, playing as the Koreans here in the gray. So Koreans, Poles on this side and uh, a Britons. Sicilian's matchup on that side. So, uh, yeah, Koreans here. Obviously, we're going to, I think, see an attempt at War Wagons. The question is, do we also get an, an attempt at a Tower Rush? The layout of Swine Wrangler's base is pretty nice for a Tower Rush, I think, because you get a tower here, you're already denying both golds, excess stone, and you're really one tower away from denying the berries as well. So I kind of like the possibility of that. On the other side... Poles player doesn't have as nice of an option for a tower rush. The berries are quite forged, you can deny those, but uh, it's a little hard to, to deny both golds. We got uh, a 1 HP hit on a gate. Okay, nothing of note. And then over on this side, Britons versus Sicilians. I mean, Sicilians are presumably going to want to try to boom this out. I mean, I guess you could see a rush early and Britons uh, might see early 
crossbows, or you might also see a boom. It's pretty, pretty versatile in that way. Keep an eye to see if any of these players go to stone early. I mean, it's of course possible. It's just going to be fast castle all around. If you're Koreans here, you definitely want to get that pressure on poles early, because if you let poles have a chance to get comfortable, and you let them get a decent eco and get that castle up, then you've got that knight spam that's just, just about impossible to deal with here. Right, it doesn't look like anyone is going to attempt to bring in the deer. Whoa, I, I take that back. Green is bringing in a couple deer, using that sheep to hold open the gate. Jewel bringing in the deer. I think that's the only quite oh this is some brutal deer generation here for uh for a Rasta. Good luck pushing those. I'm gonna fast forward just a little bit until we get some some clicking up to feudal age here. Swine Wrangler, okay. Swine Wrangler's behind quite a few vills. What's going on there exactly? Minute 15 idle time. Not sure what happened there. Definitely something went ro went wrong with that build. And so that is going to be unfortunate for the Roid Monkeys who are already behind 2-0 in this set. Need this game to survive. Alright, we do have some uptimes here. So we've got 21 pop bull from Jewel and from uh, Rasta. So it looks like Rasta's going to be opening with archers. And over on this side, we've got a barracks coming up. And maybe archer play as well on this side. Scouts are another... Oh, going to stone here, actually. Okay. It seems like a little late for towers. At least if you wanted to go men at arms towers, I guess you could go towers without that. But there's no vills moving out yet, so I don't think it's going to be towers here. That might just be for the purposes of defense to deal with uh, the Britain archers. So keep an eye on that. All right. Uh, ooh, we also have a 22 pop here for our Koreans player who is going men at arms. So you can see the vills moving out. Here come the men at arms, men at arms tower rush. I'm excited about this, but like I said, this is ideal location. Oh, and the cherry on top. Um, obviously, when you are the poles, you want to get your farms around the full work. But this full work is forward, so a tower goes up here. Those farms are going to be in jeopardy. That's a big investment that could be lost. Swine Wrangler might be in a good bit of trouble. Keep an eye on this. All right, good for Swine Wrangler, though. Has spotted it, but spotting it's one thing. Dealing with it is another. Has an outpost there as well. Yeah, that scout's going to go down. Five vills. This will be three men at arms. The men at arms upgrade just about it. And then look at that tower in the perfect spot. Yeah, this is uh, this is tough. Swine Wrangler has just clicked. So these walls go down so fast. Dark Age walls. Look at that. That wall was down by the time that house started building. And yeah, once this tower is up, there's gonna be basically no way for Swine Wrangler to keep them out with these four walls. Swine Wrangler is gonna have to then get some walls here. Maybe probably wall up here as well. This is excellent pressure here by Elenir. Garrison those vills or use them to attack. Yep, there we go. Okay, Elenir is going to start battering down the palisade. And yep, Swine Wrangler wants to keep these farms accessible. I don't think that house is going to go up. This might be too aggressive. I think, I think you just need to get a house here. Just kind of give up this real estate. Another tower for Elenir. Orange here. Oh, you know what you could do? Use this vill. Get a house here. Trap the men at arms in there. And then you could just rush down that tower with vills. But obviously that's uh, easy to say from our position. A lot harder to think about in the heat of the moment. Look at this. Scouts coming in from Elenir. So Elenir going with the scouts. And they are in to support this tower rush. Now, no access to gold whatsoever for Swine Wrangler. And these full works have been lost. 
That's a rough position. So some archers coming out to help from Rasta. But the position's already been lost, and those archers obviously are not going to help regain the position. All they can do is um, prevent Elenir from pushing further into the base. Here comes another full work. His house will not be long for this world. It's a brutal, brutal spot for Swine Wrangler. Alright, there is the counter tower. Vils yet. These are pull Vils, so they will uh, repair that HP gradually. So I'm just going to be careful with this one. Gets into the TC. Here come the men at arms. Diving under the town center. That's bold. And with the archers in here, too. Could be a good fight potentially for Roid Monkeys. Got a lot of HP for free there. Those archers should be able to clean up those men at arms, no problem. But this tower's gotta get finished, I think, for Swine Wrangler. You might even just think about trying to rush this tower down with Vils. Oh, one Vil goes down. Yes. Four Vil lead at the moment, four siege towers. But the issue's really less about the Vil difference, I think, here for for Roid Monkeys than it is about the position. Fletching for either of these players. That was going to need to be repaired. Oh, yeah, look at this. A lot of archer production here from Rasta. Sitting all those archers here, so any chance of aggression is out the window. But that donjon is protecting the counterattack anyway. A lot of, lot of low HP archers in the mix there. Now I think the worry is going to be... Um, castle Age time. Yeah, this jewel has clicked. We're going to have Sicilian Knights on the field. Rasta a long way from clicking. Swine Wrangler is almost there actually. Power of Poles. Archers going forward here. Interesting. I'm guessing a forward siege workshop. But I think Ross is going to be a bit disappointed when, uh, yeah, when he sees Jewel get up quickly because Knights might be able to deny that siege workshop. Keep an eye on that. Wine Wrangler did go forward to try to take the tower down. Doesn't have quite enough bills to get it done. Nice job. Microing these vills. Oh, he's gonna lose one here. There's not enough vills. You gotta, if you're gonna go for it, you gotta really commit with a lot of vills. These archers losing a lot of numbers to the, uh, at least a lot of HP to that tower. Alright, Swine Ringers. Doesn't have a mark. Oh no, it does have a market. So I think yeah, use that market. Sell some res. Need to need to get up as quickly as possible. The only way to clean this, I think, at that this point is probably to get a castle down. Um, all right, but here we go. Jewel is up. Let's see what the follow up is. All right, we've got one stable already from the scout player. Yeah, but here comes the knights. These bills are going to be in jeopardy, and this counter attack here from Rasta. Not gonna have any success with feudal archers, not not for very long at least. Rasta almost has the gold to click up. Swine Wrangler still hasn't been able to click up. Okay, there we go. Rasta is up. Here come forward. Bills from Jewel. Jewel has the stone needed for a castle. And get some knight numbers out. A castle here would be absolutely devastating. Rasta's got both golds and a stone there. And the production buildings. I mean, this would be absolutely devastating. And here come the knights. Plus one armor. Yay. Aren't that many archers at the moment. Yeah, and this range might not even go up here. The knights starting to pick off the archer numbers. Castle Age on the way for Elenir. 
And look at this, these bills all going down. I don't see a way for Rasta to den deny this castle. Not with this many knights on the field. Plus one armor, bloodlines. I mean, unless Rasta... Yeah, I don't think Rasta's gonna be up in time. Oh, and it's Sicilians. Sicilians build so fast. Right here. Put the castle here. I mean, it's still a great castle. It's not gonna quite deny that stone. But close enough. Also not going to deny those production buildings. Yeah, Siege Towers uh, definitely favoring their position here so far. And the second TC coming up as well, so Jules not going to be completely all in on this push. Alright, so it looks like both these towers went down while we were preoccupied. Uh, Elinir trying to get that tower up, but uh, here comes the castle. The castle should go up no problem. Especially with this quantity of bills. To build it. Might lose a few vills here. Castle on this end is up. Knights are in, but there are expo. Nice quick walls there by Rasta. But if you're Rasta here, how to react to this? Rasta's 346 stone so Defensive cast is not really an option here. Maybe you just think about trying to expand the eco out in this direction using the expo to fill the area. Means you got to worry about a siege workshop. I think Jewel here. They're Britons. Mangonels aren't great. Plus two arm these knights now as well. So I think once Jewel gets all these knights together. Probably take a fight against those Expo, no problem. Bill count's still pretty close. Only a four of lead right now for Siege Towers. But um, they have tremendous map control at the moment. I think that's the big difference. Yeah, and look at this jewel even healing up the knights in this castle. I would love to see a Siege Workshop here. Take out these ranges, push forward, take out the TC. Coming down from Rasta. Rasta, I think, wants to get ballistics to be able to take better engagements against these knights. And look at this. These bills are even thinking about another castle. Jewel has nine on stone still. Maybe think about a castle here. Just, just completely pin Rasta in on this map. Maybe a castle right in this little nook. That'd be a pretty devastating spot. But this is an excellent surround here for Jewel. All those archers will be cleaned. Yeah, this is looking terrible for Roid Monkeys now. I think this one's going to snowball pretty quickly at this point. At least on this side. These knights are going to be all over the eco. Just get up in the wood lines. Nice quick walls coming down there from Rasta, but... All you're going to do is like, slow the bleeding at this point. A lot of knights are being lost for free here, but... This fast imp on the way for Elinir. Look at that. So Elinir's gonna get Trebs out, and then the Poles player is gonna be royally screwed. Rasta getting a desperation castle here to at least keep some villas alive. So as not to be defeated. I guess there are a few villas here, and here come some war wagons, but not near enough to have any hope of engaging these knights. Or sorry, those war wagons are uh, teamed up with the knights. So actually, they were just, just passing these vills. Actually, could have cleaned up the few vills that managed to escape this area. Yeah, and Rasta knows it. Rasta's making a run for it. The war wagons, I think, noticed the mining camp are looking for those vills. Here comes another castle. Ooh, but look at this. A couple archers hanging out still. I don't know how those managed to survive all the, all the fighting. They actually kill all the Vils, so that castle's gonna have to wait a little while. But Knight's still all over the place in the eco. Should be able to drop this TC. And Rasta does have the res to get another TC. He's gonna have to get one out here somewhere.
Build count's actually identical for the two teams at the moment, but Siege Tower's with all the military and uh, all the map control, and what's worse, about to have a player in Imperial Age who's going to be able to produce trebs, and then all of this will be kaput. So it looks like Siege Towers are extremely well positioned here to take uh, the finals in a 3-0 sweep. Treb production, it's going to be Treb Hal push, which is uh, going to be excellent here against uh, the Poles. It's obviously, Poles want to go Knights. Some more bills to finish that castle. Swine Wrangler, despite all this pressure, actually has the uh, bill high in this game. I just. I don't know what Swine Wrangler can possibly do in this position. When you're out teched like this and you've got counter units on the field, you are in a rough way. Second Trev on the way for Elenir as well. Meanwhile, on this side, the Knights finally dropping this town center. And I think at this point, if you're Jewel, just uh, work on getting to Imperial Age yourself. Keep these bills trapped, and then finish it off with some Trebs. <laughs> these bills still being hunted by the War Wagons. <laughs> Got a mining camp up here. The War Wagons hunted one of them. There are still a few survivors. I think Rasta needs to use those to try to get a, uh, a town center up. And look at this. Jewel, so confident about their position, just diving under the castle to kill Bills. Droid monkeys. Only 10 Bills behind, but this castle's down. Here come the, here come the Halds. And uh, I do not see any possible win condition at this point for Roid monkeys. And neither do they. They call the GG. Well played. Vision G Championship goes to Siege Towers. Congratulations to them. Uh, they played very well this season. Hope to see them back next season. Um, they will undoubtedly be promoted into the uh, next division up.